Over the next 10 minutes, this demonstration will show disaster recovery of a Windows 2003 server using Legato Networker 732. What you see here is the Legato uh, Networker server, which is configured on a Windows 2000 Service Pack 4 virtual machine under VMware Workstation. There are two network interfaces, the 128.0.0.0 subnet and the 192.168.1.0 subnet. The 128.0.0.0 subnet is functioning as a backup only network. The 192.168.1.0 subnet is our network for external communication. The Legato Networker server is running on Windows 2000 Service Pack 4 and it has two physical devices configured, the C drive, which is the system drive, and the E drive, which will function as our backup to disk target. The next server you see is the Legato client. Again, it's configured with two network interfaces. It's running Windows 2003 Service Pack 1. It has the Legato Networker client installed. It also has two applications, AbbeyWord and GNU Merrick, configured and installed. And as you can see in here, uh, these applications run and start and everything works uh, as advertised. Also, you can notice in the start menu on the Legato client that the AbbeyWord and GNU Merrick applications are visible there. And under My Documents, the install packages are there as well. The third and final machine is the clean install, which will function as our target for our disaster recovery. So imagine Legato client failed. You needed to do a full restore and get Legato client back online. You would bring up a new machine, install the base Windows operating system, install the networker uh, client, which you'll see has been done here. The networker client is installed. And then bring that machine up so that uh, you can do a full restore to it. Once we get to the point where we're ready to do a full restore, we'll change the name and the IP address of this machine to match the original Legato client server. So if we go back to the server, you'll notice when I open up the, the networker uh, management console that I've already configured the Legato client. And our next step is to go ahead and uh, kick off a backup of the Legato client. So I'll fire up the networker user. This takes a second and it's connecting to the server. You'll notice here Legato server, client, Legato client, and we'll say backup. And it's going to start up and we're going to say we want to back everything up. Obviously we don't need the A drive or the D drive, which is the fl floppy and CD-ROM, and we're going to say start the backup. So now it's backing up files, Legato client to the server, Legato server, and you'll see this will kick off in a second. and started backing up. And if we go over to the Legato server and we look at monitoring and we see sessions, you'll see that Legato client target C uh, save job uh, has started and it's back up to device E. So also if we drop this down and we go to save sessions, you'll see that this is the save session start at 1133 uh, AM. And now that's running. We'll go back over to the Legato client and let that run. Now you'll notice uh, as this backup is running that all the network activity is on Ethernet 2, the host only network, which is the 128.0.0.0 subnet. And if we flip over to the Legato server, you'll notice again, it's on Ethernet 2, which again is the 128.0.0 subnet. So nothing's going through uh, the 192.168.1.0 subnet, which is the way it's supposed to be. It's all targeted through the backup network. So now the backup has completed you can see here that uh, in this window all the files are backed up and uh, the VSS requester uh, quiesced the operating system and took it back up to the system state as well. So the backup of Legato client is complete and we can go over to Legato server uh, just to make sure we can we can thumb through the log and uh, you can see the write completed. So the backup uh, is fully complete. So we'll come back over here to Legato client and we'll close the networker uh, client and what we'll do now is we'll shut down this virtual machine and while this machine shuts down we're just gonna say operating system okay while this machine shuts down we'll flip over the clean install and we'll start making some changes to this guy uh, make him look like legato client basically what we're doing is preparing him for the um, for the restore so we're gonna go into the LAN, LAN connection 
I'm going to change this from 49 to 48 and say OK. Close that. And we're going to go over to the local area connection 2 and this is our backup network. I'm going to look at the properties on this and change this guy from 3 to 2 and say OK. And then we're going to close this window. Then we're going to close this. And next, last but not least, we're going to change the machine name. So we'll come over to computer name. And we're going to change it from clean sys to LGTO, C-L-I-E-N-T, Legato client. Say OK. And we'll have to do a reboot after this. So we're going to shut this down, and yes, we'll restart. Okay, so you notice the clean system came back up, so clean, clean sys is the sys we're, we're on. Uh, and it's changed personality to Legato Client, uh, IP address of 192.168.1.248, and the backup uh, network address of 128.002. Uh, you also notice that the Legato Client's installed in this machine. Uh, the host file has been configured as before, um, but the applications are not installed. So what we're going to do now is we're going to fire up the uh, networker uh, client interface. And this is coming up. Take a second. Searching for the networker server now. And it'll find the server as uh, LGTO server. And the client is uh, Legato client in a second. Okay, so I found them. Uh, you can see down here. And we're going to start a recovery process. Legato client is the machine we want to recover. We want to recover to Legato client. And uh, it's going to find the save set. And we're going to click on Legato client. We want to recover everything. And right now it's scanning through the files. So once it scans through all the files, uh, we're ready to start the restore. So we'll just click here to start the restore. And you'll notice now it's telling me that files already exist. That's okay. I'm just going to tell it I want to suppress further prompting and I want to overwrite everything. And now it'll begin the restore. If I come over to Legato server and we go to sessions, you'll notice that under recover sessions, my recovery session is, is now listed. So it's running. So we'll go back over here to clean install. You also notice that the Legato client is shut down. The original Legato client is shut down, simulating a failure. And we're restoring that to clean install. So once the recovery process is complete, uh, you'll be prompted with a message that says, would you like to create an ASR um, diskette for uh, client and whatever the client name is, in this case, Legato client. And we're going to say no. At that point, we're done. And it asks us if we want to reboot. We're going to say yes. And uh, the system that was originally the clean install will reboot. We'll have the personality of Legato client and uh, should be good to go. The application should all be there. We'll, we'll see, I guess, in a moment when it's, once the reboot's complete. So as you can see here, the systems come back online. Uh, we're logged into the clean install system, not the Legato client system, which is still shut down. And uh, it now has the personality Legato client, which it had before from a name perspective and IP address perspective. But as you can see, the applications have been restored. They originally were not there. Uh, if we go to the Start menu, GNU Merck and Abbey Word are now in the Start menu. And uh, if we try to start one of these applications, it starts up no problem. So the full restore is complete. The applications are restored as well as the data. You can see that the Abbey Word and GNU Merck distributions have been put into the My Documents folder. And everything's up and running. So that completes our uh, our demonstration of a disaster recovery of a Windows 2003 server using Legato Networker 732. Uh, for more information, more conjecture, and some more demos or any more technical information such as this, please visit my blog at http://gotitsolutions.org. Uh, thanks for watching.